let me show you how to make a cute little carrot bud. Slice off the top of the carrot, scrape off the skin clean. Cut off either side so you're left with a block-like structure. Like so. I'm no artist so I have cut out a template of a bird to roughly cut out the shape of my bird's body. I'm using a sharp knife to trace the shape of my bird's body onto my carrot. We have the frame of our bird's body now. We're going to make a pointy beak and a tail for our bird. For that, we have to cut from the middle of the head towards the center so we form the beak and from the middle of the body towards the center so it tapers and form the back of the bird's body. Repeat this to the other side from the middle of the bird's body, cut diagonally to form the back of the bird and from the middle of the head, cut diagonally towards the center to form the beak. We now have a three-dimensional form with the bird's face and body coming in. We're going to cut off the sharp edges. For that, I'm going to use this knife and I'm going to trim the edges so we form a smooth body. Now we have to make the wings and the tail of the bird. For that, I'm going to use the um, slices that we cut from the side to make a form of block. So I'm going to use that to make uh, cut out the wings from them. I have a template of the wings as well and I'm going to follow my template and cut the wings. So I'm just going to follow my template as a guide and I'm just going to carve the wings out of the carrot strips. Just whittle away until you get the shape you desire. Like that. See? So that's one wing. We have to make another one. So I'm going to follow that again and use it for the other wing. This is what it looks like. And now for the tail, I'm going to get a triangular piece from another slice of carrot we've cut. I'm going to add some frills for our tra tail feathers. Now cut slits on either side of the bird's body to slip in the wings. And another slit at the bottom, make it white enough to slip it in. Like that. And now I'm going to add some mustard seed for the eyes so I'm going to make a hole you can also use a toothpick for this and push a mustard seed in there for the eyes and similarly on the other side just like that and there you have it. And voila, the magic's happened.